following is a presentation of WLRN Public Television. The ocean is an incredible place. Let's keep it that way. Join us as we hunt for sustainable seafood. Your seafood choices matter for the future of ocean health. Hey, I'm Sarah Curry from Soraya Films. In this episode, I'm visiting Italian native chef Mattia Danese. From highlighting underutilized species to using every part of the fish, chef Mattia shows us a way to cook that's part of the solution. People usually just gonna catch a fish, clean the fish, keep the filler, and throw away all the other part. That's so bad because it's full of flavor, full of meat, from the entrails to the bone to the skin, all of the part can be used for something, for sure. And if the ocean gonna give you something, you don't have to waste anything. I just grew up in a seaside city in Italy, seafood region, basically. My father uh, was a chef and I became a chef too. And I started cooking and cooking fish too at 14. The entrance part is pretty new. I start to work with the entrance fish part in Miami, basically, with my brother-in-law that is a fishing man and brought home a lot of fish Look what I got for you yesterday. Ready? Wow. Right. That's amazing. This is a bonito, or commonly called skipjack. And usually people doesn't eat it, consider it trash fish. I know you're gonna take care of it. Look yeah, how beautiful course. it is. I will. It's, it's very hydrodynamic. So the fins, look at this, how beautiful. Mother nature. The fins goes all the way into this cavity. A super rocket fish. So uh, it's swim fast. It's good catch. We always are surprised and always uh, is the adrenaline that's core around your body to know what a fish is going to give you. The ocean uh, decides to give you a good liver to cook. Uh, it was amazing huge herd to hit a roll maybe, the fish eggs or maybe milk. Every time is the new surprise. Basically, it's difficult to find this in all of the world, not only in America, but you can adapt the recipe of the meat to the fish too, because are the same entrails inside, basically. Great size of liver from the size of fish. Usually when we find the eggs are really more full of this, but we, we was lucky with the liver, a little bit less with the eggs. And we have the art. Every single part of the fish that is possible to use, I'm gonna use. Once the entrails or internal organs are removed, Chef Mattia gets into taking apart the whole fish. But first, he has to remove the gills. It takes a strong pair of scissors to clip them out. Like Angel mentioned, this is often considered a trash fish in Miami and used as bait. But it's a delicious fish that's relatively abundant compared to other tuna species. It's fast growing and short lived. And it's actually the main type of tuna used in the canned tuna industry. Here, Chef Mattia is reserving the collar, a wonderful part of the fish, and even scooping out the bone marrow. Nothing goes to waste. Most of the kind of fish that in Miami, usually people throw away are super good. Oh, like a creval, like a bonito, like a balihu. That is usually bait fish for us too. So we start fishing the bait to go fishing. So one day, as my wife asked me, why we don't try that? It's like uh, 
our agulia in Italy. I'm really curious about the flavor and the taste and texture. And so I say, why not? We just keep safe like five, six for us for try and try to cleaning, cooking in different way. That was amazing. We are cooking the three-way balihu, so roll, torch, and fry. The torch one is the fry one. So we're gonna put in the flour, just a little bit in the flour and fry. But of course you can cook by oven, or pan sear, or if you want to make uh, like a uh, a light ragu, fish ragu for the pasta, could be super fine too. My culture and my region is really open mind about the fish because it's really old culture. And that is really more difficult to uh, find here in the US, in Miami specifically, because the people basically are um, focused about the same um, kind of fish, same piece of fish and the same cooking of them. We are cooking the milk, fish or sperm if you want. Uh, that's pretty weird, pretty weird but super good and tasty. We're gonna make uh, bread and fry, deep fry. It was a simple um, old dish in the, our country from the, the grandparents to the parents to us. Uh, inside become really soft like a bone marrow and like a kind of liquid and soft. So make the really cover outside to keep this liquid stuff inside. Flour first, eggs, and you're gonna finish with the grated bread. When you catch it, so you can find the eggs or milk. It's difficult to find the eggs because they not always have inside, it's difficult, more difficult to find the middle. It's always a surprise. And looks really amazing, juice and creamy, super fat and tasty. First thing is the freshness of everything. So whatever you use, freshness is important from the fish that is the principal ingredient uh, to the other ingredient that are maybe second, but not really second. So the fish come from my brother-in-law, for sure, always. Uh, and some, sometimes some, to some friends per fisherman too. Angel also grew up in Italy, and that's where he first started spearfishing when he was a kid. He's now been in Miami nearly 10 years and explores Miami underwater year-round. He's noticed that it's difficult to find the type of seafood he's looking for in markets. In terms of freshness, affordability, and diversity of species. The next fish Mattia filleted for us was a yellow jack, and you likely won't find it in a Miami fish market as there's no commercial fishery for it. This delicious fish is also sometimes considered a trash fish here in South Florida. Mattia loves cooking with this fish because of its creamy texture, amazing flavor, and tender flesh. He says it's good for practically all types of cooking. Taking a part of fish in a mindful way is a time-intensive process and is an art that takes practice to master. Oftentimes we forget the many steps involved with getting seafood on our plates. I think 
there is a way to convince the people to try because after that they're gonna try, I think they're gonna enjoy too. Uh, you have to convince them to try the new stuff, new fish, new entrails that they never taste before. I try to offer them a tasting menu and I just prepare the meal and see what, what gonna happen. This was one of my favorite things of the day, seeing the amount of fish that could still come off the body once it's been filleted. So Mattia is scraping the bones and is going to make us a dish that's common in parts of Italy. The tartare is basically raw. It's like a ceviche without lemon, lemon juice. And we usually gonna do every single time in Italy. If you have some a little piece of the fish uh, that you don't want to throw away, and so become a really easy tartare and fresh stuff. And you can put all the condiments that you like. So tomato from our garden, parsley from our garden too. Kippers, lemon zest, just salt, pepper, olive oil, and we have the tartar too. But my influence basically comes from the Mediterranean cuisine, but I try to put in different flavors, so I'm gonna keep skill and tip from the other region, other country, as a Mexican ingredient, uh, Japanese ingredient, Chinese, and wherever, to make a mix of flavor, uh, something different, something new. We are cooking the cook and roll yellow jack the, with a little cube of filet marinated in the miso and achote, and the roll part, uh, like sashimi, and everything served with marinade, sliced cucumber and uh, cucumber extract. On the top with a little bit of chile negro oil. Here we have her. We're gonna make one here. We are cooking to the liver, the liver of the fish, a little bit glaze and pan syrian glaze, simple. Uh, everyone can do it. And I just put a little bit of agave, or you can put a honey in the pan at the end of the cooking, just to glaze it. And you drop all the marinade that you use for marinade on the pan. Are you gonna glaze with that, reduce the juice? Just put a little bit of spring onion on top and it's ready to eat. And we have by row, we're gonna make the tiradito. Uh, it's a bonito tiradito, part of the belly filet from the bonito. With the sesame oil, a little bit soy, a little bit lemon. And uh, we have the cucumber paste on the top. I think it's the tuna is always very raw. So the tip for everyone is like make something easy. Something easy going is a better way to, um, to enjoy the fish, enjoy the flavor of the fish. If you have the whole fish, eat the filet. And anyways, you have a lot of meats inside uh, around the bones that you can keep for the tartare or ceviche. And with the old bones, you can make a broth. So everything can be used at home too, for sure. Easy going. You have to find the good people with open mind, but can you open the mind of them too? So it's really difficult, and uh, American is pretty new in the culture. Uh, so step to step, gonna see what's gonna happen.